the idea behind the collection started with the, the kind of tradition of the We Free Church in Scotland and the kind of culture that surrounds those churches. We started looking at photographs, houses filled with beautiful, old, iconic religious bits and bobs, and of course lots and lots of tweeds, and it got us thinking about the really strong dislocation between the old values and the kind of new way of living. And then we got into this idea of how we could take and manipulate those traditional Scottish patterns and explode the tartan, explode the tweed, take the argyle and blow it up and twist it and dislocate it. And you know, I do really a tremendous amount of research on eBay. In the course of doing this, came across this incredible jacket, probably a 1950s piece that I bought from a dealer in America, where the check was so big that it filled the whole thing. It was just one check. This idea got us started with the scale and we worked um, with this fantastic mill called Johnson's in Elgin and, and they took some really traditional patterns and just blew them up and we twisted them and with color and with scale and with texture, you know, we've transformed that sort of almost vernacular language of the Scottish cloth into something really quite special. I'm an eBay fanatic. I'm slightly addicted to it. There's so much about eBay that is part of my kind of daily creative process. I am constantly on there looking at bits of clothing and beautiful objects across, you know, the whole of Europe and the United States and Japan. And You know, it's like stepping into Aladdin's cave. I used to spend lots and lots of time kind of shopping in the real world and now I spend most of my time shopping in this world because it's here and it's on my desk and at all times of day or night and on the phone, you know, you can get at it. This is our second season of support from the Fashion Forward programme. I think being one of the Fashion Forward designers confers a certain amount of status and I think it brings a bigger audience to the brand. It just lifts the quality of everything that we do and, you know, we, we are incredibly grateful for it. I'm looking forward to seeing the kind of rising tide of London men's wear talent. I mean, there are so many good, exciting, emerging designers. Every season they pull something fresh and really quite brilliant out of the bag and kind of inspires me to do more and move further forward. The new menswear shows on their own calendar made such a huge difference to our business. I think we probably had 10 times the number of international buyers, 10 times the number of international press. I mean, it was big and it made a massive difference and we've already picked up a couple of new stores and the number of appointments we have for this coming season has risen again. It will get bigger. I think it's just the start. We need the international exposure on our menswear in the same way that we've got international exposure on our women's wear. I think over the next two or three years, I think it will have a really, really significant effect on the businesses of everyone in London. We just started a very small line of women's shirts, which kicked off really at the request of one of the stores in Japan who came to our men's show and said, can we have just small versions of your boys' shirts? It's a unique take for women's wear. It's a man's shirt, it's a man's construction, it's the same fabrics. So that's new. Now that we started the shirts, we've had a few people asking if we can do a bit of tailoring. You know, we've done a bunch of tailoring for other people and it'd be nice maybe to do some of our own. So we'll see. There are loads of reasons why British menswear is unique. We have Savile Row, we have German Street, we have Hoyt for cashmere, we have Northamptonshire for shoes. We have every, you know, all of the history in incredible menswear, both military, civilian, sporting. It's, you know, we've got heritage in spades. And the menswear designers are kind of pulling inspiration from everywhere. And it's very open-minded. And I think the fashion colleges in London do a brilliant job of of allowing people's kind of imagination to run wild. I mean, there's so much that's good in London menswear right now. It's an exciting time to be part of it. There are some brilliantly dressed British men. Um, there are some awfully dressed British men, and there is everything in between. But what we have got is a just an amazing kind of diversity. And, you know, it's kind of continually inspiring to see. Everybody has their own taste, and I think that's what's great about you know, menswear in London. You have everything for the kind of traditionalist, you have the most insane stuff 
at the other end of the spectrum and everything in between. And, but people, you know, people need to find their own style. I think British men have always enjoyed dressing. And whether it's up or down or, you know, left field, British men have a real talent for making themselves look cool. And I think that kind of filters across into our fashion industry.